video. We are currently in a sofa shop. We're meant to be on a train right now because we're going to go and meet Amelia and her mum. Uh, two very good friends of mine who are on the same, tr well, she was on the same treatment. We're going to have lunch first and then we're going to go to, I think we're going to Harrods Food Court. Yeah, no, you tell them. Amelia's well, choice. I have to call your mum. So we're going to go get some grub to start off with. Something a little bit fancy, I think. And then we got the appointment at 2.45 today with the doctor and the nurse and all that kind of lot to see my blood test and whether I get treatment tomorrow or not. We finally made it to Urban Retreat. one of the nicest lunches we've had in a long time. It's so good to see them. It was so nice, so nice, so nice to see them as well. Um, and now we're gonna head to the hospital. Should we get the four cookies or seven? Gosh, getting the nurse. Some cookies, because we're nice. Because she saves your life on the reg. I'm not even joking, I don't care what anyone says. She saved She's, my life. She has saved your life. <laughs> and some poxy cookies is the least that we can do. It will be a last time that we do this. Doubt it. Hello. 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 Are you all right? Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Are you all right? Hi. Right. Um, Emily. Emily. Okay, right. Sorry. We've got everyone in here. I know. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you. Come up, do you get what I'm saying? So, does it just naturally? What the fuck? No treatment. I'm shitting myself, Aisha. No way. <laughs> so, now I'm just getting this checked out, see if I need new stuff on it. At this point in time, I'll be playing the glad game. Good, good way of looking at it. But, yeah, so basically, I, I mean. I really find it hard to take in information when um, the doctor talks. But yeah, it's not the end of the world, but it's not great that um, I can't have treatments. It's been like my life. I feel like it's been like my lifeline. Two years. But what do you think? Oh, I feel all right about it. Yeah. That's because I understand it, but I just feel a bit, I do feel stressed. Vulnerable. Yeah, because I think give it a couple of hours and you're going to be stressing. But you know, like there is positive, you sort it out, you're dressed in, the scar looks amazing, or the cut looks amazing. It's not important. Yeah, it looks, you, looks you, really good, my you, cut. You, you know, you should be proud of yourself for resting so much. Mm. Or I actually have. You. I actually, actually have really tried, because yeah, I really, me. you know, yeah, me Aisha did make me. Yeah. Oh my God, Bill's the worst. <laughs> Aisha's dad is like, mm-hmm. Just like that disappointed <laughs> dad look. <laughs> So what is going on guys, we are back home, sorry about the bad quality, but we're on, I'm currently in our room, giving a bit of a clean up, tonight is the programme, I'm a little bit nervous, don't know why I'm nervous, this is the first time I've been nervous about the programme all along, but yeah, weird feeling not having treatment tomorrow, very weird feeling, knowing that I'm not really allowed it, bit of a tricky situation to get my head around. Do you really want to watch it? It's going to be so depressing. Sorry. It's weird knowing that everyone else is going to be watching it as well. It's true. <laughs> strong language. Oh, I do. The strong language is us. Everything brings back every single moment, doesn't it? <sighs> Shit, man. I'll see you in the morning when we've analysed it. <laughs> the night. Nobody. What is going on?
going on your lot. It is the next day. It is Friday. There's a couple of things that's happened in this video that I want to talk about. The first thing is the treatment. I am, I feel very vulnerable by the fact that I'm not having treatment. Right now, I'd be on my drip. I'd be getting it right now to fight this brain tumour, liver, lung, hip cancer, melanoma thing all over my body. But I'm not allowed it. I know it's for the best. They're just trying it. It's not for good. Uh, it is just to see if my cortisol level does come up. If um, uh, the chances are that once your cortisol level's gone down, then it will stay down. Where when your cortisol cortisol levels are down, it can affect a lot of things like headaches, mood, um, just like you know. I haven't really done too much research on it, so I should probably do some research on it. But it, it just it can cause a lot of issues, which I don't want, and I don't want them to be permanent either. The umbrella term of all of this is toxicity of the drug. Okay, which is one thing I don't think I mentioned to toxicity, but that is basically what it is. It's basically an overdose from the drug. That's how I think of it. My body's had enough now, and because it's had enough, it's having an adverse effect on things. So we're going to trial coming off it, monitor my brain, monitor all the cancer around the body, uh, make sure nothing comes back, no other new lumps that I need removing. But um, this lump has just been an example of how quickly it can grow and how quickly things can change. And it's just a reminder, a wake up call, um, you know, to yet again fulfill everything and make sure that i'm not taking anything for granted keeping my body in check and keeping my mind in check as well so you know everything happens for a reason i don't i don't pity myself for, for having this kind of this kind of a cancer i just, I just think it's all part of it and but yeah the other thing is the program i've had just such an amazing response i've started up a twitter my twitter is emily hayward pt all one word so go and check it out if you've got twitter please follow me i'm getting used to it um, it was booming last night. Asha told me to get a Twitter account. I wasn't keen because I've not really gotten into Twitter, but I am keen, man. I love it. Conversation sparkers or what? Like, you know, really cool. And also, um, my subscribers now have gone up to, I think I've got 840, which is mega. So thank you to all of you that have subscribed. Uh, the program is kind of just an insight on all of our lives. And it's a, it's weird. Me, me knowing that I'm the one that is able to watch it is a very weird feeling. Um, but I think about Chris and I think about Charlotte every single day of my life because, you know, it's just, uh, yet again, blows my mind that I'm still able to be here and still able to actually, you know, fulfill what I want to do every day when other people aren't so lucky. But they're both amazing fighters and the fact that they put their journey on that program is just amazing. Um, and their legacy will live on, basically. So, you know, love to them. So, yep. 2000 well, I sorry, think 10? maybe it was 2000. It might just shy of seven years. It was 2011 when I was diagnosed. Take me through, if you can, in sort of a potted sense of so the diagnosis. And then I had another two... Uh, and then I had uh, went on a trial. So I went on a trial. Uh, mm -hmm. There's no cancer left in your body. We've removed it all. So I had another, mm -hmm. t another two years clear after that. So that was the KM group, just did wanting to do an article on me, apparently. But it's good, gets my vlog out there, that's what you want. I want to educate, I want to inspire, that's what I want to do. And I feel like this programme really has. People have really kind of, you know, taken to it, really found it touching, which is what we want. We want people to realise how hard it is to fight cancer. And I just got a message from Chris's mum. Chris is the other guy on the programme. And um, that was really nice. So thank you so much for doing that on tr on Twitter. Really appreciate that. Anyway, I was just on her way back. And then I think she's going to go and have an eyebrow meeting about something. What? I don't know. We are back in the car. What we do best. We are driving to... Well, Aisha, I turned my camera. You're going to an eyebrow meeting. What does that consist of? Well, we talk about our eyebrows. Is that what you do? No. Look, I want to have a look. I know my one of my best friends has had their eyebrows microbladed. Hannah, like, you're a bad influence, just saying. And I'm only coming because we're getting a kebab afterwards. Um, but yeah, I just got the phone to a guy from the Kentish Gazette, which, which she saw me doing, and we're just talking about everything. Um, they haven't actually seen the programme. They wanted to do a write-up on my vlog, which is great. So I'm all for that. I'm all for any publicity and, you know, any awareness that needs to be spreading. Like, um, But other than that, um, next week we're back to normality and not including treatment, which is really weird, really, really weird. I'm still off. I still got a week off. Oh, I just, I just got two weeks off, so she's loving life. I'm actually yeah. not. My starts go back. To It'll work. be really interesting to see if I get cancer between the time that I have off treatment, because really it's going to be how many weeks. Yeah, it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while, because I've already had four weeks off of treatment. I don't think you'll go back onto treatment till just before we go on holiday. Seven years, and it's coming back and back and back and back and back. 
and now I'm not on any treatment after nearly two years of having it. Anyway, yeah, like I said, if you've got Twitter, uh, make sure you follow me on Emily Hayward PT, all one word. And if you've got Instagram as well, Emily Hayward dot PT. I'm on it. I'm on this thing. Twitter's amazing. Martin Kemp tweeted me. Yeah, mate. We had a combo. We had a mini tweet combo. Thank you for watching. Please make sure you like the video. Um, I'll get the link to you guys ASAP when Tom gets his arse in gear. Blame Tom, not me. Um, make sure you like the video. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you lots. Bye-bye. A house and a car to cover the scars, but she knows that, that. only a temporary fix, but that's how it